There's a beautiful passage in a new book by a friend of mine, and it's from the poet William Blake, and it says, Are we put on earth a little space that we may learn to bear the beams of love? It is a book about twin brothers. It is a love letter and a detective story. Again, oh. I love this book. And you know, here we are working together all those years. We never know the truth about each other's lives. No, the worst. You said something that is so true of siblings. You said, in the breath before he speaks mm -hmm. on them, he has gone missing. Yeah. And you read in a diary he left, gone swimming. Gone swimming. That was always our little touch. That maybe your older mo your mother's death had affected him because he right. was ways that you find strength. The yeah. way that the ways you survived, even as a little kid. Yeah. Uh, one of the other things you write about: three gay brothers. Test the water three in McKinney, gay. Texas. <laughs> 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 Call Dr. Tim. I think it's worth a medical segment. Growing up, did you all say to yourselves, "Well, this is a fun." To your brother, and I'm not going to give away what happens yeah. in it, but it, I love the fact that you. It's not sentimental. No. It is about how it drove you crazy. Yeah. At the end of the book, you do find the, as you wrote. Remember, I'm going to hold it up. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to be your infomercial. Please, I, I love can. it. It is called The History of Swimming. ABCnews.com has more from a wonderful writer and a wonderful man.